In 1997, Tori Amos played a concert at the Paramount in New York City called the Rain Concert. It was in tribute um, to benefit uh, women that were victims of rape. Uh, my mother took me, my girlfriend, and my friends to that concert. We went to that concert. And not knowing with all the stuff that went on at that time with Kurt Cobain, and not knowing that it was Tori Amos um, that pulled the trigger for Kurt's death. But the truth is, like many of us, or many people listening out there, Tori, Miss Amos, was a scarlet thread forced to do something probably against her will in the general scheme of things and such. I personally spent, made it a point to spend like a good hour with her, went back in time on video and, and visited her in the early 90s. And we got along quite well. And as we move on, in the future, forgive and love each other and unite. As the scarlet thread surely is bright out there. Um, Jewel Kilcher wrote a poem about that morning before all of us going to that concert. And I want to share it with everyone. It's a poem of triumph, the triumph of the dawn, the triumph of a new day and the promise of a new day. Paramount, New York, 9.34 a.m. Nine is the awakening, the fence line of knowing right and wrong. Thirty is the covenant. Four is the doorway of prophecy. In righteousness defense, Miss Kilcher writes, In the morning, tiny bells go off that light a darkened path. Reluctant as pinpricks, Dawn pierces sleep with nimble fingers. I am unwoven, the rich yoke of slumber unraveled thread by thread, until I am naked and glistening, standing before the newness of another day, a tiny form birthed of white linen and restless dreams. May those who have ears to hear, please let them hear. I pray this is an edification, an inspiration, to the dawning of a new day that is surely right at our very door. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you all. I hope you're all well and dwell in unity. Amen and amen.